What's up, Yugi Nation? It's your boy Enzo from Yugi Tech. Every day we use our phones to call, text, play a few games, and while we're using it, it begins to overreact with our usage and it gets warmer than usual, and you're not sure how to fix it or what the problem could be. So let's discuss quickly on why smartphones overheat. This is a very common problem that we smartphone users encounter. And whenever it happens, we ask ourselves, why does this happen? Well, to answer that hot topic, think of your phone as if it were a person. If it isn't doing anything or just chilling, it feels cool and very comfortable. But whenever that person gets really stressed out and gets overwhelmed with work, that person feels like he or she is in a pressure cooker. In some aspects, our phones are pretty much like us. To explain it a bit more technically, when a phone's temperature rises, the most probable causes are either the battery, processor, or screen. Each of these components can generate heat. Chemicals inside your phone's battery creates electricity. The processor transfers information at high speeds like a computer. But unlike computers, our phones don't have fans to cool itself. Some common causes could be overcharging or the use of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are the best rechargeable batteries right now, but powerful tech often comes with drawbacks. When it comes to overheating, the issue is that lithium-ion batteries age over time. Some causes is when you expose your phone directly on sunlight, since it's commonly known to generate heat. Duh! Other causes is using way too much applications that consume a lot of battery like games, streaming content like Netflix and YouTube, navigational apps like Waze, since applications like these make your phone exert a lot of work to process since intense Intense graphics pushes your phone's GPU. Continuous overheating can cause damage to your SOC, which stands for System on a Chip. It is an integrated circuit that contains all the required circuitry and components of an electronic system on a single chip. Which means if this chip gets wrecked, this could cause your phone to function poorly. But don't worry, most of our phones have a built-in feature that automatically shuts down when it gets way too hot. But if it doesn't, better get that hot potato checked. And to be safe, we prepared some tips on how to prevent your phone from overheating. Tip number one, avoid leaving your phone in direct sunlight. Tip number two, turn off unused apps since it makes your phone work harder. And lastly, tip number three, lessen your phone's brightness since it generates light. So what do you guys think? Was the video informative? If so, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and don't forget to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. It's your boy Enzo, and stay safe.